What's going on? Move the Mouse here back in City Skylines, the town of Wood Garden, with another episode of Industries and kind of improving what we built so far, or at least modifying it. Sometimes we're causing more problems than we're fixing, but uh, it might be good to kind of start off, I think, today's episode with trying to make some improvements here. You've got all this traffic kind of turning in on top of one another. You've got all the logging trucks coming in, the uh, oil trucks coming in to go that way. So I think we need to do kind of some a little one-way network in here and that should go a long way towards improving traffic flow. So let's start with that and then we'll get at least one more factory in today. Some of that space that we've got. So we'll upgrade. We could even do the industrial roads if we wanted just to change things up a little bit. Where are they? Way down here at the end? Industrial road. So that forces all this traffic coming into here to go up that way and then feed into the zone. But we don't even necessarily need to make this a, uh, a one-way street because you might have trucks that are delivering to here from the tankers and then coming back to their resting position. I don't know. But we do need to come up with a way for them to get out of the zone and actually... Let's move some stuff around. The wonderful smelling pulp mill can come down here for a moment. The fire station we can move right to here. But we're going to want to put that on the other side of the one way because that doesn't help out necessarily the entire zone. Let's do a little roundabout right here. Let's see. Let's break out our regular roads. You know what? No, let's let's make this smaller. So we'll come out what five. Try and do that. Let's see if this is too small of a roundabout. It might be. So we'll do that. We will connect this. Up to here. We're going to make probably this a one way coming into the city. <sighs> thinking, thinking about this a little differently. So think about the traffic flow, right? So you're coming in here. You get off at this exit and you're coming into this roundabout. If we did this, if we did from here coming in, that probably makes more sense. And then this can be going out and then that way those traffic flows don't intersect with one another. So why don't we do, let's see if we can do that. So one way industrial road coming in this way, upgrade. And that'll be our traffic coming back out. So roads change direction. We'll have to move some factories and fire service and stuff around. But that is okay. Now this isn't valid anymore coming this way. Whoops. Nope. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, upgrade. Sounds 
something like that. So that gets all the traffic out of here into a rotary and down that way and onto the highway and then coming in we have all this traffic coming in this way it's going to want to come down here and turn left we could keep that two way if we wanted to Let's try that. Let's try that one little change for now. So if we come up to here and let's see if we can freeform this in. I mean, I guess, I guess that's okay. Now I kept these here because if you do a roundabout and then you snap your roads in at kind of odd angles, sometimes it will distort it. But if you leave this here first, that tends to help. Uh, let's bring a road up to there from here. We can put some more warehouses and facility buildings and things like that. So unfortunately that just turned all that traffic around. So we'll see what that does in a moment. Oh, it doesn't help that I didn't connect up here, huh? So, do we need the one ways here? I think that we do, because we don't want, again, all this traffic turning left in front of here. So, if this is all about bringing traffic into the zone, let's come over to the other side and figure out how to get traffic out of the zone. You know what? Let's let's jump back. I take it back. Let's see what this does if we leave this here. So this is going to be an upgrade. Back to regular roads. But what if we make this one street where the tankers are a one-way road? all the way up to that intersection. The directions are correct. And then we can come back with a one way this way. Like that. I think that will help improve it a little bit without completely rebuilding the area. Let's check our fire coverage. So that's actually really good if we leave that right there. I'm going to leave it right there. Okay. That works. That works. All right. Um, we moved the biomass plant over here. So let's see if we can get this back up. Uh, move the toy factory, maybe? No, this is all one-way traffic. What if we move that over there? That should connect all that back up. But we didn't have we had power running from back here before. 
then that should get everything up there connected. There we go. Okay, so let's see. Biomass pellet plant. No, the paper mill, pulp mill. The worst. We can throw that maybe right here. Let's do that for now. Slowly but surely making more room for factories and warehouses over here. Let's see what we don't have built yet. Petroleum refinery, plastics, metal. So two of the three are over here in this area. Wow. My God, that's huge. And it has a huge pollution bubble. Can we get it on the end of the street? Way off on the edge of our map. Let's do that. That's a big one too, huh? So we could move that road up at the top if we wanted to cram a big plant like that in here. I don't know where else we're going to fit this thing. I think I had it up there at some point, but the last couple factories are pretty big. That's a big one. This is what, a shipyard? So that'll go in the water somewhere. Is that the first one we haven't built? All right, well, soft paper factory, paper, plastic, petroleum, crops, all those things are over here. So I think we should Move this road around a little bit. So what's going on here? We have people entering side by side, trying to get over there. Am I messing things up worse by having that as a one way? We don't really need this if we're doing that, right? It does help some of these trucks get out. I've got to, I really got to rethink this. Because we're making traffic bad over here. Um, let's get one more plant in and then we'll figure out how to resolve that. So... Have a helicopter depot over here. Let's get rid of this for now. Because I think we're going to have to do a real serious rebuild of the traffic around here if we're going to get all these factories going. So let's go up. Did that get us enough space? I think that it did. These factories are so huge. It's ridiculous. Okay. Crops, paper, petroleum, plastics. Let's, let's get some warehouses in here. Some more warehouses. Can we get two in here? Paper? Plastics, petroleum, and crops. Hmm. 
where or oh, where can we cram these in? I mean, they're coming both from pretty close nearby, so maybe we just leave that. And uh, we're pretty much filling out that the footprint of that that available zone there. Car factory is huge. I think we can get that one in there. Which one is that? Modular house factory. Plastics, metal, glass, timber. So glass will be coming from up here. Let's do this. We're going to keep this one a short one for today. Because what I want to do is I want to let this play on three times speed for a minute and see how the traffic shakes out. Because when you first reroute traffic, everybody goes for that new route. It's not necessarily the best example of where traffic ultimately will be in the zone. So I want to let this run for a minute, let some of those warehouses fill up, let them do their normal thing and kind of see where traffic is backing up over here before we add too, too much, because what we're going to have to do is if the traffic is really bad over here and it is pretty slow, we can speed this up a bit. If it's really bad over here, then we may have to move some roads around and then I'll have to move factories. So let's let this settle down. Let's see what it does. Make some improvements to it before we drop in even more stuff, but we will, uh, we'll figure it all out. We'll get, Look at this all working. We could throw something like the car plant up here above the highway too. Like it's, it's just so big that maybe it could be off on its own. We'll find a way to hook that in. And the shipyard's definitely going to go somewhere along the shoreline. Maybe we can flatten out a little bit over here and have it like switch back and come back up this way to get supplies. That may not be a bad idea. All right, well, that's a good spot to break for today. Like I said, it's July is a crazy month for me, but I want to keep giving you daily industries content. I, I really like this town. I like this DLC. I wish I had tried it and really dove into it sooner on the PC. I've had it for a while, um, but I've just been kind of backburnering it. And it is really fun to kind of make all these mechanics work in map. And uh, it obviously adds quite a bit of traffic problems with all the trucks that it introduces. Uh, and that's always a fun challenge, especially on console. It can be frustrating sometimes, but we don't have all the same tools that you can uh, use on PC with things like move it and traffic manager. So it's, you know, something that takes a little bit more tuning, tweaking, revisiting certain areas, trying to get things working as trying to get things working as smooth as possible. And that's what we're going to continue to do in these episodes, uh, bit by bit, improve little parts of our town um, until we're really satisfied with it. Money-wise, I definitely can't complain. Uh, maybe we could come in here and just double check the production on all these factories. We need more toys, please. See how much money we can make. Come on. Crank it up. We need to get metals over here. So looks like that is a, uh, a short supply. We'll have to do maybe a revisit of our ore industry and see what we've got over here happening. And, uh, and make sure that we can get some of that over here. Food factory was turned off. Turn that back on. Woof. Woof. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we're definitely going to need a new, uh, a new way of thinking over here. And I'm thinking we can turn this into highway rather than dump off right away into a roundabout and then right to the streets. 
Let's bring this highway through. Carry the traffic all the way up through here and we'll have exits where trucks can get off if they're coming to the factories, if they're coming to oil, if they're coming to forestry. But we can get things connected that way. I think that'll be a lot more efficient. So we'll, in the next episode, kind of gut this, bring it around this way, and uh, and really rethink what we're doing over here from a traffic perspective. Because we need to smooth some things out. This is not going to cut it in the long run. So that is what we will work on on the next episode. But in the meantime, if you did enjoy this video, likes, comments, and shares all help the channel a lot and are greatly appreciated. If you're new here, subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications for new entries in the series and others. Follow me on Twitter and join the Discord if you want to get involved in the discussion. And until the next one, this is Move the Mouse, signing off.